Good morning, Pokepans. Welcome back to a brand new video. Here is that Saturday rental team that I have been talking about for over a week now, which is JT's official team that he submitted in the Discord. You can find that information down in the description down below if you guys want to see it for yourself or even try it out because it is quite a few mods that I'm not really uh, experienced with. Maybe one. I'm experienced with the rest, not so much. So I'm actually kind of excited to see how this team is going to go. So I broke down the team in the uh, Discord and I put it on a notepad. So I do have everything in front of me, the items, the Terras, everything. Um, well, I might have missed Glamora. Uh, it's grass. Okay. So I did miss Glamora, but I'll just change that here so that it doesn't affect us too much. And I'll go on to Showdown and update it there as well. So we do have quite a bit of Pokemon here that, again, I have never really used before. Um, here is the lineup. We have Zamazenta, Incineroar, Burigraph, Rillaboom, Ogre Pond, Wellspring, and Glamora. Now, the one I'm used a lot is Ogre Pond. Yes, you have seen me use Burigraph on and on, but Burigraph isn't a Pokemon that's primarily on my teams a lot. It's only to fulfill a certain purpose, which is to answer all of the priority that's in the game. If priority wasn't a thing or if they fixed some of the priorities that we have to deal with, then this wouldn't be that big of an issue. However, because it is, we do have to worry about other Pokemon being able to use that. Uh, the items for each Pokemon for Zamazenta, it does have the Rusty Shield. For Incineroar, it has Safety Goggles. For Furgraph, it has the Throat Spray. Rillaboom with the Miracle Seed. Obviously, the Wellspring Mask for Ogre Pond. And Glamora, which is new, which is going to have the Assault Vest. I'll have the picture so that you guys can try it out yourselves. And I'll have the EV and Ivory spreads down below as I did get permission from him to go ahead and post that. So yeah, what's, what we're going to do is do about five matches today. Usually I do six, but I am quite tired. Uh, by the time that I'm recording this, it's well past uh, my time of usually shutting everything down. Like by now I am uh, finishing up editing and I am throwing up on YouTube so I can go lay down and get some sleep, but you'll still have it on time by 8 a.m. The same time at the podcast release, but uh, yeah, we're here to try this team out, see how we do. And if I can uh, leave some feedback, then I will. So without further ado, let's get into our matches and see how far we get, shall we? Okay, so we have Shadow Rider, Tornadus, Urshifu, Tinglu, Furgraph, and Entei. Okay, so what's the best option here? Uh, with our type advantages, we do have a couple. That's going to take a little bit to enable. Cinderor's Fire Dark. We don't want to walk in with... Uh, our Zamazenta right away. I mean, it could be worth it, but if we get caught by Entei, we're kind of done for. So let's go here to here. So we'll go Glamora, um, Ogre Pond, Glamora, Ogre Pond to Zamazenta, and we will go with uh, Rillaboom. Probably like the bat, like the worst combo, but I have some of these Pokemon I've never really used, right? And I know that there's a revolving door of Pokemon using both Incineroar and Rillaboom. So I understand kind of like the method, but nailing down what I need is going to be the hardest part for me since I've never really used half of these Pokemon. All right. So we do have the Vessel. So Ting Lu came out first, and then there was Urshifu. Since Urshifu is out here, we're going to really want to take advantage of, um, of our stats. But I also probably need to tear grass here. So anyone, I mean, there's a couple that would take advantage of that for sure. But let's do Terra Grass Mortal Spin. And I'm going to follow me on uh, Ogre Pot. So Tinglu um, leaves, which is a good call. Out comes Furagraph. Okay. So were they expecting something different here? I'm not 100%, but I am doing 
Terra Grass, so I don't take that much damage against the Urshifu, and I'm also using Follow Me, so if it did get stuck up with like a, a water move, it's gonna go to that slot instead. That was close combat instead. Does not take uh, KO the Ogre Pond, but it does get really, really close. Will we spin? Poison them both. And the more was help hurt by the Rocky Helmet. Okay. So Glamora is one of the slower Pokemon on the team. And then the other one is obviously Rillaboom that we have. So if they do access like some sort of Trick Room, we're going to be okay. Um, we are going to be okay. Let's do Sludge Bomb on the Urshifu. Swap Ochre Pond to Rillaboom. Because, like, it's gonna get a hit again. So, we're gonna go ahead and get Rillaboom out here so that we can get our Grassy Surge. And we also end up being slower. Plus, we also get access to Gla uh, Grassy Glide, which isn't gonna be that big of a deal. Okay, so Urshifu is not scarfed. That's good. That's good news. Psychic. It's really boom. It's not super effective. Okay. So I do need to get Ferrograph off the field. Um, they are on a timer, so it's not like I'm hurting someone. But I do need to get Ferrograph off the field. So we need to do is hit the Perigraph. And I can't fake out because Perigraph's on the field. Can't Grassy Glide. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do the Wood Hammer. On that Urshifu to knock it out. This combat, so it is faster still. It does get the KO on the Rillaboom. Three minuses that it has. I'm gonna need to start taking advantage of that as soon as possible. Punch bomb. This is psychic. Not very effective against Glamora. But I do need to uh, be able to outspeed Urshifu now, so I'm gonna start doing that now. I forgot Zamazenta. Get a defense boost. Let's go ahead and sludge bomb you. I'm very or fighting steel. Let's go body press on Urshifu. Protect on Furograph. It's a good call. Body press on the Urshifu. It's going to knock it out. Because we, ne we need to be able to control the speed now. Uh, we've kind of given up way too much in resources already. So I need to be able to counter this as much as possible. Like, them staying this long on the field was not a good thing. But again, Poison's doing its job, which is great. No, I can't read that. Oh, Shadow Rider. Eh. Unaware. Is it good to switch to Ogre Pond just to kind of take a hit? Probably not. Uh, let's do Mortal Spin. 
No effect. They came with bash. Up they can. So this is gonna do a lot, a lot of damage now. Sidekick. Zamazenta. Ah, uh, I mean, oh, special defense spell. Oh, that's not good. Came with bash. Drops it by half. I like it. A little spin, so now we can poison it. Which I'm okay with. Absolutely. A little more out here looking fancy. Poison now kicking in. It's a lot of damage from poison. They're just kind of ignoring Glamora, which is great on their part, honestly. Well, let's not do that one. Let's do Earth Power instead. And I'll protect. Psychic from a helping hand, the Zamazenta, didn't seem to do that much damage. I gotta be honest, that's insane. Gotta protect. But the uh, EVs that Zamazenta has is pretty high. It's absolutely high. The more I land, like staying alive, good job. The power just barely not getting the KO. Barely not getting the KO. Heals up just a little bit though. And I'm hoping the poison damage kicks in to knock it out. And it does. Let's go. Oh, Jesus. It's not enough on the Frigraph still. The grassy field disappears. The last is Ting Lu. Special attack on all Pokemon. So this is the last two. Let's go ahead and knock out this, uh, this little devil here. And I will body press into Ting Lu. See what happens. Helping hand. Not bad into the Ting Lu. Body press. Not enough to get the KO. Get, gets pretty close there. Earth power into Fergraf. Knocks it out. I mean, Poison was going to take it down anyway, but I probably should have went after Ting Lu. Stomping Tantrum. Zamazenta does go down, which is unfortunate, but I'm okay with that because the partner Pokemon in the back that I still have is more than enough to be able to take down Ting Lu. It absolutely is enough. Bring him right back out, Ogre Pond. Now, Ogre Pond, uh, we'll do a Mortal Spin just so we can uh, poison it, and then we'll do Horn Leech so that Ogre Pond gets a little bit of health. Now, Tinglu does have um, leftovers, so we know that it can have Protect. Is it going to carry it? We don't know. Probably will, just because it makes sense, but who knows. Just like that, so we know it, <laughs> know it carries Protect. Horn Leech is going to fail, and so is Mortal, sp uh, Mortal Spin. Let's see. Got to get a little bit more healing due to the leftovers. Like I said, we're going to continue Mortal Spinning because I want the, the poison on there. That's one thing that JT had like heavily stated. Like, if you have poison you'll be able to put them on a timer. So it's like a, a, second, a secondary win condition. Okay, well, now poison's not gonna do anything. Is it, I don't think you can put poison on a po on a poison Pokemon. Horn Leech, not very effective. Well, that's not great. I get a little bit of HP though. Still not very effective. Rope Chop. Toxic to I mean, it doesn't do anything now, but 
Earth Power would have done something. Ah, uh, the the Terra to Poison definitely saved them. Absolutely saved them. Uh, question is, can Ivy Cudgel knock him out in this range? Give it a shot. They'll protect, so they're going for healing turns with leftovers. Okay. So we definitely messed up with uh, the mortal spin. I have a cudgel. Doing a horn leech wouldn't do anything because he's gonna like protect every other turn. Or chop. That made it so they barely won. That's that's insane. It was my mistake, but that's insane. I was really, really hoping to get the knockout, but nope. That that turn of healing made it so that they can survive. And the Terra on the last possible minute too. <sighs> King Lou's Terra type is usually po it's poison or water. It's usually poison or water. Anyway, hindsight can only go so far, so it is what it is. Let's move on. Okay, so we have uh, Archeladon, Urshifu, Grimmsnarl, Zapdos, uh, Kyogre, and Whimsicott. So we do have options here. Question is, what's going to be the best option? Um, let's bring in Ogre Pun and Rillaboom. Uh, they don't have, I was gonna say they don't have Tornadoes, but that doesn't really mean anything. That Zapdos is still, so could be a problem. Bring in Zamazenta. Do I think Tailwind's gonna be a problem? They do have two potential users. So maybe these two and then these? I have mostly special attackers, so it wouldn't really make sense to like bring in Incineroar. Yeah, we'll give these a try. Well, we'll give these a shot. Just in case if I have to activate like a uh, Trick Room, I can be able to activate it. Uh, they could use Taunt though um, for Rigoraf. Oh no, they can't. Never mind. As Throat Spray. They can't use Taunt. Okay, Urshifu and Kyogre. Okay, Drizzle activates. Okay. So we do have a couple of options here. What I'd like to do is Horn Leech, maybe knock out Urshifu. But I also have to deal with Kyogre too. Let's do follow me on Ogre Pond, and let's do Trick Room on Frigorath. Now, Ogre Pond's speed is capped at one, it's 188. So I don't know what it is at level 50. Kyogre gets the, the Terra, becomes Grass. Okay. This is going to negate the Horn Leech damage if it went over to that slot. I did follow me instead. So that the Thunder and whatever Urshifu is going to throw at me goes over there. Oh no, it's Surging Strikes. Oh, Water Absorb. No, you don't. Origin Pulse. Oh no, Water Absorb. No, you don't. Oh, you you hit for a grab still, but you... Yeah. Is there a Trick Room? I Twisted La Dimensions. Horn Leech over to Urshifu. Swap to Rillaboom so that we can uh, kind of negate the damage that we're going to be receiving here. I'm not going to Terra Ogre Pond. It would be a terrible idea to Terra. Because we don't want to get knocked out by any potential thunders that comes out of Kyogre. Right, they withdrew Urshifu. Can't read that. I chill it on. There's nothing on Ogre Pond, but it does a ton of damage. Oh, that, not how much, actually. Not a ton to, uh, to Rillaboom. Really 
Wow, it just pretty much healed all the damage that I just did to it. It's dope. Um. We really find ourselves in a bit of a quarry here. None of these are going to do damage. Follow me and you turn. With your Kyogre? Oh no. Urshifu? Aptos. Okay, follow me. shot. It's in the rain. There's a hunter infect or a hundred percent. Watch her move. Probably doesn't take the thing here. Ooh, Rocky helmet. Okay. Now we're still underneath the trick room. Bring out Zamazenta. We should do quite a bit here. Two more turns of trick room. Do this. And I'm gonna Terra Iron Defense. That way we don't get hit by anything by Zapdos. So I don't want to get like insta knockout. I don't have dragon typing, so any electrical attack's gonna do like a ton. I'd like to kind of ignore that if I possibly can. So we're gonna do this. We're also going to ignore their body presses from Archelodon if they use it. Spike a shield. Hurricane. We dodged a bolt there. That would have been bad. I throw a shot. It's gonna go over to. Who? Zamazenta. room last one more turn follow me and I will protect Lama Santa is gonna attack last which is not what I wanted but that's okay we had to kind of start in a rough spot just so that we had a little bit easier time of dealing with the Pokemon that's in front of us when they opened up Urshifu and Kyogre it made it very very hard to pivot and not be able to uh, take advantage of one side or another Hurricane's gonna hit right into Pokemon. It's gonna knock it out, which is totally fine. I have to be okay with that because it's just not, not a whole lot that I could do. Flash Cannon's gonna fail because I protect it. But now Trick Room is over and Rain had stopped. So now we'll bring right back out Brigraph and Brigraph. Has a couple of moves that we can use. Probably won't though. Body press. Yeah, we'll body press Archelodon. We are gonna be faster than Zapdos, but yeah. Protect on the Zapdos. Protect on the Burgraph. Body press. Not enough to get the KO. The stamina boost. Flash cannon. That's okay. Huh. 
So what were my mistakes this game? Obviously the matchup was bad. I didn't have a really good matchup. As soon as they, you know, got rid of the weaknesses with uh, Kyogre, it made it really, really hard for me to kind of deal with that. Uh, and then they just had two wallers for my particular matchup. And I haven't really had a chance to like fake out, which I should be doing, right? Like that would be something that I activate. So Zapdos has a Rocky Helmet. Absolutely does. But it's four, it's four V two. I don't think I have a way to get out of this. And if I do, I'm not seeing it. Okay. Protect on the Archelodon. Fake out. Zapdos. Damage myself with Rocky Helmet. Hyper Voice. So I'm going to do a little bit of damage to Zapdos, but it's not going to be as much. It's pretty interesting. Like, I, I'm, I'm getting there, right? Like... I don't fully understand JT's team, but it's really, really interesting. Let's do that. And let's Grassy Glide to Zapdos. I mean, it's like the only thing I can do. I got priority right now with the Grassy Surge. Grassy Glide, bop. A little bit of damage, but I get hit with the uh, static too. Let's go. Let's go. Rocky helmet damage. Body press. Down goes Rillaboom. Uh, we'll switch. Burgraf stands strong. But out comes Kyogre. Can't read that. Oh, it's Urshiku. Nope, it's cut. You caught Kyogre in a Pokeball. Hyper Voice. <sighs> and with that, I've got nothing. They're gonna outspeed and they're gonna do a lot of damage because I, I couldn't uh, do this one. So, knowing what I know now, the better matchup would have been to bring in, instead of Fergraph, maybe bring in uh, Glamora. That would have been, that would have done like a uh, more uh, beneficial. And we could also brought in Incineroar, obviously. So we're gonna run. Um, Glamora was still weak against, um, Urshifu, I think? It's rock grass, right? Or is it rock poison? Uh, it's rock poison. So the rock type would have been easily, like, uh, targetable. So maybe Glamora, Ogre Pond to maybe Incineroar, Rillaboom? No, it would have been Glamora, Ogre Pond, Incineroar, Zamazenta. I think that's going to be like the... Uh, the best ones to deal with Kyogre teams. Um, when I talk to JT next, I'll ask him about that because uh, the matchups with Zamazenta, I don't have one, obviously. I don't have a Zamazenta, so I, I don't know what my matchups are with that. With Zashian, I have a little bit more of an idea of what it could be, but um, yeah, I mean, I just, I don't know what counters well into him besides just like trying to raise my iron defenses and hope for the best. Uh, being Terra Fairy instead of Terra Water or even Terra Grass to ignore, you know, um, Amoongus's or uh, water types like we just had made it kind of difficult to deal with for sure. Okay, so we've got 
Urshifu, Incineroar, Rillaboom, Fire Ogre Pond, Tornadus, and Salmazenta. So in this particular matchup, because we are kind of looking at a similar team structure, we do have some options here. So I think, I think, anyway, we go in with uh, Incineroar, um, Namora. Don't necessarily want Rillaboom because they do have two Pokemon that counter it specifically. We'll bring in Zamazenta and Ogre Pond. Now we're bringing in these two because like, yeah, we do have a way to get out of uh, Tailwind, which if we do Trick Room, that's totally fine. Um, but they clearly see that strategy and I don't really have a way to stop Fake Out into Furgraph. So because Furgraph's using Throat Spray, I can't really get rid of that. The shield co uh, comes up with Tornadus on the side, and Incineroar comes in and intimidates. So, because it is Dauntless Shield, Fake Out into Lamazenta is almost guaranteed. But I can also go into uh, Tornadus to maybe stop something. But I think the worst one is Lamazenta. And I'm a rock type, which means I'm weak to fighting, so we should Terra. And I'm gonna power gem into Tornadus. Now I know that this puts me directly in line to getting knocked out by Tornadus. Because it is a gra or like a flying type. Could go for the Bleak Wind Storm, but it does. It goes for the Protect instead. So we're good there. Fake out on the Zamazenta. So it won't attack. <laughs> the crit. Lynch can move. Power gem. To that slot. Flare Blitz. No, we should swap to... Oh, that's a good question. Okay. Let's Parting Shot instead. And Zamazenta. And we're going to... I'm um, Power Gem Tornadus again. Here comes the Terra. It's going to go to Zamazenta. Yep, and your Terra is fighting. Interesting. Okay. It's going to boost up the body uh, the body presses. Liquid Storm. That hurts a lot. But Glimor is able to stand because it's awesome into Incineroar, which is going to knock it out, which is unfortunate, but couldn't really do anything about that. Power Gem. Gets the KO. Super effective. No Tailwind on their side. That might be their downfall. Might be being the keyword. Okay, they sent out Ogre Pond. Oh, that's bad, actually. That's really bad. Mold Breaker. Let's protect here and swap to our Ogre Pond. Them having Ogre Pond puts me in a really rough spot. Like, Glamora can take down that slot, but Glamora is slower than Ogre Pond. Like, incredibly slow. Oh my goodness, a crit into the Ogre Pond? That's not good. Comes Iron Defenses. That's a plus two. That's not great either. 
Oh, I'm sorry, JT. I'm playing your team terribly. I don't understand the mechanics of this team at all. Let's do that and... Super effective. We can do a sludge bomb into that slot, but I think I'll get it knocked out because I Terra the Mora. Body press and Mortal Spin. I, I at least I'm faster than Oh okay, never mind. I'm faster than the Ogre Pond at least. And I got my own crit, so that's cool. Body press goes over to Glimora, I think. Oh, my Zamazenta. Super effect, yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry, GT. At least I poisoned it. <laughs> I didn't use my Terra so early. I just needed to save Glamora because I thought that was going to be like the, the thing, right? I thought that was going to be the, the target that they would focus on to. Obviously it wasn't. So... Why not Sludge Bomb into a... Lama Zenta. Iron Defense raised its stat two stages. Oh, Sludge Bomb. There you go. There, I helped you get a little bit, a little bit weaker, but I don't think it really matters. We did bring it from a 4-2 though. So it's not like they are four Pokemon. Now it was two versus one. So it's not too bad, but that definitely could have been a lot better. A lot better. Dang it. Okay, so we have Ice Rider, Artelodon, Urshifu, Fluttermane, Sableye, and Weezing. So we do have a couple of options for this particular match. We do, we honestly do. Um, trying to decide which one's the best one though. We will need to counter Ice Rider, but I believe Zamazenta could do that. Do we need to set up Trick Room though? I think Trick Room might, no, not Trick Room. They, they're gonna wanna set up Trick Room. We want to counter Trick Room. I don't have him prison though, because it's not my program. So let's bring in Zamazenta, Ur um, Incineroar, um, Poker Pond, and Rillaboom. That way we've got our two main attackers and we've got our revolving door of Pokemon. And our two, our second attacker is like uh, Rillaboom. Like Ogre Pond can do damage, but it's not, it's not like based at that. So Rillaboom has to be it. And we have our supporters of Incineroar as well as Ogre Pond. Now Ogre Pond is able to take a little bit more hits, which is great. Um, but in this case, it's not going to really matter too much because neutralizing Gats. Uh, I don't think we outspeed Flutter Mains. Let's go ahead and Terra Fairy and hit this in the face. And I'm going to fake out Weezing. So I can't, I can't fake out Flutter Main. So I'm going to fake out Weezing instead. So I can't do anything, so no poison type moves, and I'm hoping Behemoth Bash, uh, Behemoth Bash will knock out Flutterman. Okay. Totally fine with that. Fake out or protect, it's totally fine. Fake out's gonna fail because it goes into the protect. Uh, Zamazenta attacks after Fluttermane, but that doesn't really matter because Behemoth Bash goes into that slot, knocks it out. Let's go. Let's go. Out comes Sableye.
Let's protect here. And let's knock off there. This table I can't fake out in Sinroar. This is a dark type. Knock off on you, Mr. Weezing. It's a crit. Let's go. And normal gem. Okay. Dunk shot's gonna fail because it goes into the protects. Okay. Alright. Go there. And... There. Wizzing's probably gonna protect here, which is totally fine. But I just want to put a little bit of pressure on it because the normal gem is gone now. So I think it was primed to explode with explosion. Which is still going to do a lot of damage, but because the fact that they didn't take time to maybe set up trick room or even have someone else to be able to deal with it, they're going to have to uh, realize, okay, which one is this behemoth batch going to go to? Because depending on the target, it might hurt a lot. Terra goes over to Weezing to make it Terra normal. Okay, it might survive the Behemoth Bash now. It does. Knock off on Sableye. The Rossley Berry. Misty Terrain. That turns off status effects, I think. Light Screen. Okay. Behemoth bash that. And I'm going to go ahead and parting shot. No. We'll go ahead and flare blitz. Save a lot. I think um, Weezing's leaving. Oh no. It, it's If it's doing this, it's not leaving. That's probably going to do Misty Explosion. Which may or may not do a ton of damage, I'm not 100% sure, but... Nope, gunk shot. And it misses. Ouch. Sent out the last Pokemon, which is going to be the Ice Rider himself. Okay. It's a... Boost? Misty Seed. Boost what? They already used their Terra, so they can't do anything else. I'm gonna do... This, though? Call back Incineroar. Bring out, um... Rillaboom, which is probably, like, a really bad decision. Realistically. Protect... Behemoth Bash. That's still a lot of damage. Oh, wait. My abilities are turned off. Right. Battle skins. Okay. I was gonna say, like, I forgot my abilities were turned off, but I I could have sworn that Ice Riders was also turned on. That might have just been the item, but it was weird. Incredibly weird. Okay, we have Necrozma, which is the, the Lunala variant. Uh, Entity Female, Amoongus, Primarina, Ursa Luna, which is the Hisuian form, and we've got Gallade. Okay, so how should we deal with this bunch? Uh, what's Gallade we can get? He... I think we walk in with Damasenta Ogre Pond, uh, bring in Rillaboom, and, um, we could start out with those two. These two would be, like, really, really good, I think. No, we'll bring- we'll, uh, we'll use- we'll use these four. So we're gonna bring in Zamazenta Ogre Pond, so that we can kind of deal with maybe some shenanigans from Green Marina, but we can also apply a lot of pressure, like, right in the beginning. Uh, we'll bring in Rillaboom so that we can do attacking moves, like, um, 
Grassy Sir or Grassy Glide, and then we can also bring in our special Waller so that we can kind of do things against that plant as well. Okay, Psychic Surge activates. So Gallade and Entity. Interesting. So we're not affected by anything per se. Let's go in Iron Defense and I'll go ahead. Should I swap? It would be effective, but I don't think that's I don't think that's the, the call right now. Let's go after Gallade. I think Ogre Pond's gonna use follow me. Yep, there we go. Called it. Iron defense, so now I get a plus two. My good cudgel goes over to Entity. Trick room. Gotcha. Go and protect here. Swap to Rillaboom. Now, Rillaboom is still a little bit speedy, but it's fully based on attack. Got Adamant Nature with the full investment 252. They're going to... Okay. Interesting. Sacred Sword's gonna fail. Now that I know that we were trying to do with the Terra and Behemoth Bash. This slot well actually I'm gonna tear up Behemoth Bash. Um, I have plus three, right? I do. Mighty Press isn't going to do a ton of damage, but I'll do it on uh, Entity. And I'm going to fake out um, Galley. With through Entity. Okay. They're going to try to get rid of my field. That's why they're making the switch. I might have screwed myself here. I don't think Necrozma is still ghost type, but it might. If it is, they guessed it. And if it's not, uh, this might hurt. Take out. On the Gallade. Flinch cannot move. Body press. Oh, it's still a ghost type. Okay. It will uh, go ahead and do that. And I will hit the Gallade. So they didn't make the swap, which is okay, because I'm going to make a swap next turn. Slide. Gallade's not knocked down yet. Need a beam. Here comes the Power Herb. Please hit. Um, Zamazenta. It does, okay. Sacred Sword. Into the Boom. That's a lot of damage. That, that's a lot of damage. How long does Trick Room have? One more turn? Uh, Behemoth Bash and swap out to Lamora. Is they're gonna bring an entity now? So now the field, the terrain changes again. Boom's also going to come back, and out comes Lemora. A special attacker that really doesn't gain force. Wow. 
Team with Bash. Are you serious? It probably gets that stupid shield. Okay. Let's bring out Rillaboom. The Unrivaled. I am... I'm gonna go ahead and body press you. And I'm gonna wood hammer you. I'm okay with that. Follow me gets the attention. Because I wasn't gonna go for the fake out. I had to take out, obviously, Lunala as much as as much as possible. It's is it Necrozma or is it Lunala? I'm not sure. Anyway, there there we go. Okay, good. I just need to remove them off the field. Like they just need to go away. Uh, both of them, especially both of them. Okay, so we're we're setting we're sitting pretty. We're down one mon. Here comes Ursaluna, who is going to protect on the turn. On the first turn, because it needs to be able to set up uh, the flame orb. Now, in the event that it doesn't, what I'm going to do is. Oof. I think Gala gets quick guard. It's not faster than me. Protect is going to go on Ursula. It has to. Body press is going to knock it out. Terra is probably Ursula. Make it ghost. So we called it. So the facade or the earthquake is going to do a lot of damage here, which is going to leave us with the Ogre Pond, which is going to be able to deal with that Pokemon pretty easily. Um, Wood Hammer on. Gallade, so it is going to be knocked out, which is totally fine. It depends on what Ursa Luna does now. Facade? Oh, that's even worse. Oh, that didn't do enough. That didn't do enough. Why? Because I'm burnt, or I have plus three defense. Plus three defense does not do anything. Um... Yeah, it's Crested Glad. Let's do some chip. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say, okay, we're gonna protect and do some chip damage over time because it, it, if Facade's the only move that it can do with the Flame Orb, they're not gonna be looking pretty at all. Instead, they'll have to focus each Pokemon one at a time. I still have Ogre Pond in the back that is going to be able to deal with Ursaluna. They were not able to set up Trick Room. I don't even know or remember if they had. No, Entity. Entity could set up Trick Room. No, duh, I'm I'm dumb. I'm Gallade set up Trick Room. Gallade set up Trick Room, which then made it so that Indity could like probably a little bit more prominent in that match. But it doesn't really matter because we were able to systematically knock out Indity to remove the the redirection, and then we were able to knock down their restricted legend. And then we were able to then knock out Gallade right after that because Ursaluna needed just a little bit more time to get cooking. The facade against uh, Zamazenta could have been super, super damning, but it wasn't because we already had gotten our plus three. So facade three, flame orb did like 12. If they would have protected instead of tearing the first turn, they would have had a little bit more better luck because then they could have Terra'd and probably faked me out, but they would have started knocking Pokemon out right away, even with 
uh, me attacking before Ursula Luna does. So that was really, really interesting. All right, ladies and gents, this is going to be this, the ending of the uh, rental co team from JT. So here's my thoughts. Obviously, I do not know how to play this team that with synergy like he could. Obviously, there was a couple of Pokemon that I am still not 100% sure of. And I would love to have him explain a little bit more detail in the Discord of how it's supposed to be reflected or even down in the comments down below. Uh, I'll bring it up to him when we go to shoot the cast because I'll tell him like this video is like for, hit, like for him. He kind of knows that it's being released. So I'm hoping that he takes a little bit to kind of review the footage and see how well I did. A uh, couple of mistakes that I did, obviously. I don't know what to do the match like what's good matchups and what's terrible matchups with Zamazenta and the Pokemon that he has selected. While Kyogre was a really good uh, possibility, I was not able to get around uh, defeating it without having Incineroar on the team or like on the field to be able to knock out the especially after Terra Grassed. I just couldn't do anything about it to uh, capitalize. Even though Ogre Pond did have like an easier time absorbing all the water attacks, it didn't make a whole lot of sense when after that I had to deal with like Zapdos and Archelodon. Both of those Pokemon do not take any damage from Ogre Pond at all because of their typing as well as like the movesets that Ogre Pond has access to. So the only way that I could possibly like counteract Zapdos is to bring in Glamora, which was not in the field. I believe this was like match two, maybe match three as well. But I didn't like there was like no way for me to be able to counteract and do as much as possible damage as I as I could. Uh, even if when I brought in Zamazenta, it just didn't feel like I was playing the team correctly. Um, it's it's I like it, but I obviously don't know how to run it effectively. I know Frigraph is a little bit more bulkier, but it can do damage. Uh, either reversing Trick Room or starting Trick Room, which was helpful here, but I wasn't able to get any ground this way. So it made it kind of hard to uh, figure out a good starting point. Um, Incineroar, obviously it's one of the best Pokemon in the game. It's an Intimidate, Parting Shot, Fake Out, and all that, plus if it's typing. If we didn't have the typing, or if it didn't have the typing as it did, I think it would have a little bit more of an easier time. But there was a couple of instances where I had to put it up in front of like a fighting type or a water type. Uh, most likely fighting just because of Zamazenta and stuff like that, which made it incredibly hard. Um, before this, I did get a sneak peek of the team, of how it ran in the casual ladder. And the first match had four freaking legendaries in front of it, which made it very, very hard. But I got to see how the team performed and Incineroar did extremely well within that. So it made it very, very easy. Here is my general thoughts now that i'm physically touching the team and i've and i've seen it in action most likely glimora is one of the openers just so that you can get off poison and be able to use power gem and even sludge bomb but it's primarily used to get poison on your opponents as kind of quickly as possible you want them to attack into a slot that they're not expecting glimora to come in just to spread the debris so that when other pokemon come in they get poisoned and it gets like worse and worse and worse over time uh mortal spin will also set the poison so that everyone has a timer now i know that's a strategy but if i was building this team that's where i would go to first um, Zamazenta would be like either the starter lineup or the back lineup to kind of finish up whatever you're trying to do. Incineroar and or Rillaboom would be on the in the lineup as well, just so that you can have that revolving door of Pokemon over and over and over again, which is why we have U-Turn as well as Parting Shot on these two Pokemon. And then our, our fourth, so we have like Glamora, Zamazenta, and then both Rillaboom or Incineroar or one of them, just so that we can kind of swap in and out all the time. And then our fourth, if we do not pick Rillaboom and or Incineroar, depending on what you want to do, would be Ogre Pond. So the first four, you'd have your fake out supporter that could just do a terrible amounts of damage. And then you have uh, some of your, like, your main attackers slash people that could just kind of sit on the field for just a little bit. Um, also being able to ignore Moongus and something I didn't know. Uh, if you have the safety goggles on, you ignore powders as well. So Incineroar during like the, what is it? What do they call it? It's not an official match like the test match or whatever. Uh, I got to see um, 
safety goggles ignore rage powder so it can, was able to attack any slot that it wanted to which was pretty dope in my opinion so in this video i think i went two and three i didn't do this team any type of justice which i i really do apologize uh but i don't know the like a positive matchup yet and i would like to hear more about this team or if it has changed then i would love to hear more details on the changes of the team because from what i've gathered it was uh it's kind of insane but it's it's on a different level that i'm i'm either not yet there or i fully don't understand how the strat works so jt if you're listening to this please pop in the discord and uh, give us like a, a a rundown of how you would usually use this team or uh, like if I did well at all, because I don't feel like I did. Um, these were really hard fought games. Um, there was only one that I got swept on. So besides that one, everything else really, really seemed like I had a really good chance at winning. Even when we were able to get like one team to have like all four and then I just steadily just knocked out their team until it was just literally one on two. I don't feel like I, I failed a lot, um, but yeah, like I hope I did. The, the team justice and uh like to hear what you guys think down in the comments down below so because it is the end of the video i wanted you guys for watching uh please leave a like on the video if you like it dislike it if you didn't leave leave a comment down below as i do reply to any and all comments up behind if you're a brand new viewer or a returning viewer please consider hitting the subscribe button it does help out the channel and the videos perform a little bit better and uh, the reasons why you should is because i i post stuff like this my wins my losses uh progress through and through if i do well or if i fail that's what these videos are for they're to help me and to get me more invested into pokemon bgc i've been competing for two years but i'm not i'm not like at the the master level yet like i do know quite a bit but i haven't won a regional and i don't have any cp to my name but in 2025 i'm hoping to uh, change that and maybe win some if not compete in a few regionals so hopefully you guys will see me on the big screen um, but that's what the series is for i'm here to teach myself and to help teach you and hopefully uh, inspire you or to help you learn so that's what i'm here for but anyways guys um that's it this was a rental team so i do this every saturday with my community so if you guys want to post anymore go into discord that's going to be in the description and post your rental teams and i'll give it a shot on on uh, saturdays and yeah that's all that i got if you guys want to watch the playlist it's going to be at the end when you subscribe like and comment all three of those those should have loaded up on the screen uh, if you do those greatly appreciate it i, I i'm tired i'm sorry <laughs> i'm really tired um but yes, that's it. That's all that I got. Watch the playlist at the end. Don't forget to, no to hit notifica uh, notifications and put those on to the all. And happy Saturday. Happy Saturday, guys. And I'm going to go edit and go to bed. Have fun. Take care. And I'll see you guys uh, for the season 19 series part one and part two. Till then, take care. And I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. Peace.